Solidarity is a kind of unity that endures hardship and refuses to break. I'm Reverend Hannah Dare Bonner. In our last video, we brought up one of the most incredible people in the Bible, the sex worker and wall dweller, Rahab, who hid Joshua's men from the wall patrol and saved the life of her family by offering solidarity. Any conversation about solidarity, however, would be incomplete without talking about Rahab's daughter-in-law, Ruth. In order to understand why, we have to go back to an earlier time in Ruth's life. You see, Ruth's story actually starts with her first mother-in-law, Naomi, who traveled from one country to another because there was not enough food where her family lived. So Naomi and her husband and their sons packed up their belongings and they went to find a better life. After a bit of time, Naomi's sons married, one of them to a foreign woman named Ruth. Then both of Naomi's sons and her husband died. It was then that Naomi heard that the food scarcity in her home country was over and that she could migrate back home and have enough to eat. So she decided, just as the birds and butterflies and humans throughout time have done, to migrate back to the place where she was born because now there was enough food. Naomi knew the road ahead would be difficult and she wanted to spare her daughters-in-law the suffering ahead so she encouraged them to stay in their own country, in Moab. One of her daughters-in-law was willing to do this. Ruth, however, is not willing to leave Naomi. Ruth chose a path of solidarity and commitment to Naomi. She chose that whatever happened to Naomi would happen to her. If Naomi suffered, she would also suffer. If Naomi was blessed, she would be blessed. She said, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. Ruth the daughter-in-law of Naomi, and then later of Rahab when she married her son Boaz, shows us an image of solidarity that does not break. This is the kind of solidarity that endures discomfort. This is the kind of solidarity that is capable of changing things. In Naomi's case, the solidarity that Ruth offered her did in fact change her life. Because she refused to leave her, Ruth was able to bring Naomi with her into a better life when she married Boaz. Rather than being a penniless widow, Naomi was the mother of a woman who was clever and brave. When we refuse to break solidarity with those who are at risk of experiencing injustice, we can change things as we walk together. Injustice only becomes possible when we abandon one another and turn away when things get hard. A few years ago, in 2015, I found myself walking a path of solidarity that I felt called I couldn't break. A young woman named Sandra Bland had been brutally arrested in Texas and died in jail under questionable circumstances. She was Methodist from the African Methodist Episcopal tradition and I had a lot of mutual friends with her who had been watching the video blogs she made before she died. In her vlogs, she talked about her faith and how we were called to take action against injustice. My friends encouraged me to watch her videos. They asked what truly happened to Sandra Bland and they expected me to do something about it. Just as I know that I'm treated differently by Border Patrol because of my blonde hair, I know that I'm treated differently by police because of my white skin. I could not imagine being threatened with a taser, taken from my car, and thrown to the ground the way that Sandra Bland was. The proof of racial profiling is not only in how people of color are treated, it is in how people who look like me are not treated. I could not bear any longer that women I loved were treated the way Sandra was, simply because of how they looked. What I ended up doing was sitting in front of the jail where she died for 80 days. Just like Naomi had tried to send Ruth away, I had many people who tried to convince me to break solidarity with Sandra. I was told that my job would be taken, that my life was in jeopardy, that my future would be uncertain. Yet something had bound me to Sandra the way that Ruth had been bound to Naomi, and I could not break solidarity with her. 
together, she and I and a whole bunch of other people around the nation actually changed some things. Simply because, like Ruth, we committed to a solidarity that endured discomfort and threat and hardship in order that we might all find ourselves together on the other side. None of us are free until all of us are free because we serve a God who is not willing to leave a single lamb of the flock behind.